Uh, so much for uh, compile time. Now um, at runtime, what happens is the um, uh, reference uh, being uh, used on the left hand side of the operator uh, is examined and the uh, object which is being referred to by it is uh, is looked at. And since objects know what their class is, um, it's that class which is extracted and um, examined and depending on it and what the type is on the right hand side of the operator depends on whether you get true or false out of it. So here's an example. If the uh, class being of the uh, object on the left is uh, C3, then um, um, pretty clearly uh, uh, C3 is also of type C2 and C1 and object and I3 and I0 and uh, it's also got uh, I2 and I1 in it. So um, any of those on the right will give the result true. Uh, you will never get round to examining B because that would generate a uh, compiler error and you'd never get that far. Uh, right now if it's uh, C2 then um, uh, anything apart from uh, C3 it can't be. Um, it also can't be I0 or I3 over there. And any of those would give uh, false and everything else would give true apart of course from B which it, it can't be because that would give a compiler error and you wouldn't get as far as runtime. Right, if the uh, reference turned out to be null then uh, it doesn't matter what it is you get false. Um, if you've got an array of course um, uh, similar sort of thing holds. Um, uh, of course uh, an array of type uh, B is compatible with uh, uh, instance, it is an instance of an array of type B and uh, I0 as well and of course it's an object array and every array is also an object so all those would give true. If we got something like uh, this, it's a primitive, it's an array of a primitive type, or an array of an array rather, um, uh, that's okay because um, that's a reference of course, that's an object reference not a primitive type and um, uh, that's going to be an instance of that and uh, object array and um, object. All those are true, of course, would give true. Um, we have a C2 array, that's um, going to be a C1 array, of course, and an object array. And if being an array, it's also an object. And uh, I1 and I2 arrays are also, also going to be an instance of those. So they will also give true. Um, an I3 array um, is an I0 array. Uh, it's also an object array and uh, an object. And uh, any sort of array at all is also going to um, be clonable and serializable. That will also be true. Those two interfaces are present for every array. Here's something which I think is worth mentioning. Um, if we got this arrangement here, and um, for the sake of argument, let's suppose that's the only classes and interfaces we've got defined in the system. Then um, we can't declare something like this. And that's because you can't do new of an interface. Um, if you're going to set this variable i0, it has to be set to something which implements that interface. And the only things which do that are uh, things of class B and of class C3. So it's got to be one of those two, assuming it's not null. Now, um, in the case of arrays, if you have an array of interface type I0, uh, that situation doesn't happen. And here we've got uh, I0 A and um, constructed here to be of length 5, so it holds up to 5 elements. And um, this is not forced to refer to an object of either class B array or class C array, assuming it's not null. And the reason for that is um, the only requirement here is that each element implement I0. So uh, the first, for example, could be C3, could be of class C3, and the next could be of class B. So they don't have to be the same. So they don't certainly have to look like that or that. Now of course 
if you wanted to you could set i0 a equals ba uh, that's quite acceptable and, and in that case um, it uh, refers to a class um, b array uh, but it doesn't have to um, oh incidentally if you set every single element in this array to be of class um, b that is still not enough to make it a uh, of class b array to become b array it has to actually be set to something that's been constructed that way here's an algorithm to um, determine whether o ref instance of t is going to be true or not so um, first of all um, you take a look at o ref and um, and take a look at the class which um, uh, this uh, o ref refers to and if it's an ordinary non-array class then there are two cases to consider so first of all if t is a class um, then you're going to get true if s is the same class as t or it's a subclass okay and if t is an interface then um, if s implements t then that will also give true now second case to consider is if um, if s this um, thing referred to by um, oref uh, is an array uh, say sc array or something like that then um, if t is a class um, t has to be object because if t is object then uh, that's going to be true because all arrays are objects um, if t is an interface um, t has got to be clonable or serializable because all arrays are clonable and serializable um, and if t is also an array say tc then um, if t, uh, tc and sc are both the same primitive type then that will give true otherwise if it's not a, both the same primitive type then um, you take a look at um, uh, see whether you take a look to see whether sc is an instance of tc and that determines whether you get true or not okay so now if you look um, we have to consider the case when um, uh, SC might be an interface so we also have to consider um, the case where um, it turns out that S is interface and that arises from arrays of course so um, if S is a, an interface then um, uh, if T is um, a class a class type then T must be object if T is object then you get true because um, uh, S would have to be uh, have to refer to something and um, uh, if it's an interface and uh, that would uh, uh, whatever it refers to would is an object of some sort so oh, that should be capital O of course if um, if T is an interface um, then S is either the same interface or a sub interface of T and that will also give true of course uh, this is what I'm going to cover next um, uh, down there is the other operator we uh, left out the uh, ternary operator uh, which incidentally is uh, probably the most complex operator you can imagine it looks simple but it isn't um, and uh, yes this down here I'll, pr I'll probably do it uh, some later date. Let me just sort of skim over it. 